Now let's go ahead and tackle volume measurements with a liquid sample. I've got my 50 milliliter beaker clean and dry. I've got my 50 milliliter graduated cylinder and I've got 200 milliliters of water uh, in a 250 milliliter beaker. And uh, the first step says pour 25 milliliters of deionized water into the dry 250 milliliter beaker. I should mention that I also have a cloth here to dry the beaker and I'm going to need that in a few minutes and um, yes that's the rest of the steps uh, must dry the beaker and the graduated cylinder first so let's see so I'm going to put this in and my beaker I should say has markings of five milliliters and if we were to go by the one-tenth rule that means that it would be uh, 0.5 milliliters and 0.5 milliliter is not a round number so um, it, we will because if you put a tenth place it's going to mean if your measurement is going to think that it you're accurate to the tenth place which we are not so the rule of one tenth says measure to one tenth this is five it's 0.5 and then if it's anything other than 0.1 or 0.01 or one go up because you don't want to overstate your accuracy. So I am actually thinking that this is only going to be good to the nearest one milliliter. I hope that made sense. If not, just know that we are going to end up thinking that this reports to the nearest one milliliter because its markings are in five milliliters. Okay, so I'm going to pour this into the 25. got to make sure I can see things there we go I'm at the 25 I'm looking straight across in fact what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get down and make sure I'm looking straight across Oop! wow I'm off so I'm gonna pour it back in because I wasn't wasn't level I guess uh, hold on, where's the 25? Still too high. All right, now the meniscus is pretty flat there. The meniscus is pretty flat, but I can see that the bottom of the meniscus is on that 25 line. And now I'm going to pour it into here. And again, I, you have to look straight across if you're going to measure it. This one measures in one milliliter, so I'm going to report my value to the 0, 0.0 up to the 0 0.1 milliliters. And again, I apologize, I'm going to disappear here for a minute, but I'm going to get down. I'm going to look straight across. And so I'm reading it to the 0 0.1 milliliter. I'm going to even put a little piece of white paper behind it. That doesn't help at all. Um, I'm actually going to put my ruler behind it. Let's see. Uh, so there's 25, 26, 27. It is less than 27. Actually, it's 26.9 for mine. And um, I'm now going to pause the video to dry everything off. 